We are here at the Blauser showroom in Isny in the south of Germany and we'd like to introduce you today the Blauser R8, which in my opinion is the perfect hunting rifle. Yeah, you're right. You know what? I couldn't agree more. I don't know any other rifle as well thought out as the R8. And no other rifle offers so many significant benefits when out in the field. But it really doesn't surprise me when I see so many enthusiastic hunters here at Blauser and their passion for their profession and for hunting. That's right. I mean, the first thing that you're going to notice is what makes the RA truly unique. It's that it's absolutely loaded with innovation and technical features. It's very hard to keep track of actually what's going on in this rifle. But the first thing when you do pick it up is that it is built extremely short and compact. And this is why we refer to it at Blaser as the compaction. So let's go through the R8 point for point. What am I looking for as a shooter? Personally, I'm always looking for a precise, crisp trigger to enable me to find the good shot. The Blaser trigger, which is what we call it, the precision trigger, releases at 800 grams not too light, not too heavy, but I know it releases just at the right time when I want the shot to be released. But a good trigger isn't everything. It's only half the battle when it comes to precise shooting. What we're looking for, especially as hunters, is for a piece of equipment that works reliably in every climatic conditions that the world can throw at us. And this is where the barrel bedding of the R8 comes into play. So when we remove the forend from the R8, we can see that at no time is anything of the stock touching the barrel. The barrel is bedded on a solid metal of billet, which allows for the solid mounting of the barrel in front of the action with the scope mount on top. So under no circumstances is anything ever touching the barrel, which means under any circumstances it is completely free floating. But Josh, could you explain to us what other factors are involved in making this rifle so tremendously precise? Absolutely. Yet for its first class accuracy, other factors have to be considered. For example, the cold hammer forged barrels and chamber, and more importantly, the Blazer radial locking system. As you can see here, the radial locking system, which sits directly behind the chamber, connects with not only two or three lugs, but with 14 direct points of contact. So what we've learned What's important are it's a good barrel, a good lockup inside the barrel, and a free floating barrel. But what also comes into play for precise shooting and consistent shooting, and that is a good stock. And what we have here is in the Blaza R8 in its basic wooden stock here, the classic wooden stock that we can see that we find on many rifles, is a very, very steep pistol grip, which offer a very relaxed shooting hand whilst you're triggering. So for consistent, reliable trigger layering, this is immensely important. But for this, the thumb hole stock is even better. You're right. I don't know of any stock that makes targeting that easy. It is almost as if the stock was molded around the hunter's hand. Especially target rifle shooters appreciate the importance of a relaxed trigger hand. So the R8 thumbhole really gives you the best of both worlds, combining the elegance of a hunting rifle with all the best qualities of a target rifle, giving you that relaxed trigger hand, which makes you ultimately shoot and trigger better. But many people still believe it's not possible to reload quickly with a thumbhole stock. Well, let's try. No problem there. As you can see, speed, not a topic. Even magazine change is quick and intuitive. All right, and this brings us to our next point, which is safety. In the old days, hunters had rifles and shotguns with exposed hammers. Now they only would cock the hammer just before taking the shot. No one in their right mind would enter the field with hammers cocked, cartridge in the chamber. Many times today with modern rifles, hammers aren't exposed. Oftentimes hunters inadvertently enter the field with the hammer cock round in the chamber. The Blauser manual cocking system on the R8 eliminates this issue. As we've seen with the hammer gun earlier, there were actually a great safety feature. Hammer back, rifle's hot, hammer forward, rifle is safe. The manual cocking system on the Blauser R8 is just nothing more than a modern take on an old-fashioned hammer. 
Cocking lever up, red dot exposed, rifle's hot. Decock it, the rifle is safe, with the added benefit that the firing pin spring is actually completely relaxed. So even if you were to drop this, it could not go off because there is no firing pin under tension. So if you cock the rifle, you're ready to fire just before taking the shot, getting your position, you take the shot, you reload, and now the rifle is set up for the second shot as it remains caught. If you do not want to take a second shot, simply decock the rifle, make the rifle safe, and you can move on, even though you've got another round in the chamber. Of course, there's no safety feature for human error. You have to remember that there's after all still a live round in the chamber, but if you actually have to take a loaded rifle into the field, one with a manual cocking system like the R8, for me personally, it's the only way to go. And the safety features don't stop there. One very important feature of the manual cocking system on the R8 is in relation to the magazine. When the rifle's hot in the fire position, even if there's a round in the chamber, when the magazine is removed, the manual cocking system moves to the safe position. The rifle is unable to go back to the hot firing position with the magazine removed and tucked away. Even with the round in the chamber, uh, the rifle is safe and unable to fire. When it comes to hunting, there's one thing on everybody's mind, and that's reliability. Blauser have really thought about every source of debris that can enter the rifle and try to eliminate any sort of hang up about the functionality when it comes to dirt. Even when it comes to carrying the magazine in your pocket, every R8 comes with this magazine cover. So just before you enter the magazine into your rifle, the cap comes off and you can then put the magazine into your rifle. The other thing that will strike you about the R8 is that when you remove the scope, and you're just looking at the, at the system, there's really no open working parts or very few are actually on the outside of the rifle. The other one is that unlike any conventional rifles, the trigger does not rely on a spring for it to be pushed forward once you reload the rifle. Dirt and debris can enter it, triggers can be iced up and then they can seize. With the R8, when you open the rifle, no matter how harsh the conditions, when you open it up, to reload the rifle, the trigger will be forcibly mechanically removed into the forward position. So when you close the rifle for the next shot, the trigger will be ready for you, not the matter what. Anyway, I think enough with the theory. Let's get out of here and try this thing for real. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's go. So here we are in a hunting area just outside the factory. And the conditions, as you can see, went from bad to outright nasty. We went from rain to snow. But as a matter of fact, for what we are trying to achieve today, the conditions couldn't be any better at all. What we're here to show you is that how badly and how much abuse you can give an R8 and get it, how quickly you can get it back to clean again. Josh, I think it's time to get real dirty. Right, let's do this. Don't be shy, Josh. Get it in Just there. get that yeah. really oh. yeah. into the mud. Dude. What do you think? Yeah, put a little more in there. That should do. Yeah, how does that look? I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks all right now. Yeah, that's good. Well, Josh, I think it's about as dirty as we can get it. So let's see how quickly we can clean it up again and get it back to working order. Sounds good to me. Let's go. All right, Josh, we might as well get this cleaned up. Whilst this might seem extreme to you, there might come a situation where you do have to clean the rifle because you dropped it in the dirt or whatever. With the R8, it's actually not a problem. Because you can completely disassemble the rifle, you can submerge it completely in water. As I said, extreme situation, but when you're out nowhere near a cleaning set, you're out in the sticks, you don't have a choice. You can either go home or you can do this and get the rifle back to working order. But I think we just can clean it up a little bit better, but most of it is gone. 
But if you can just show us, just, you know. Absolutely. You want to pass me the bolt so I can yeah. get going on that? Get working on that. Yes. Well, we certainly got the dirt off. Two things are obvious. If you've got no other choice but to do this, the R8 will forgive you for it. However, it also can be seen that a little bit of oil goes a long way. The water really hasn't touched the bolt. We got the mud off and the water has to already start run clear off the bolt. So I'm pretty confident that as the rifle is now, we can just put it back together and it will be in working order. Perfect. You right there, Josh? Yeah, I'm good. After all that, do you want some oil on this? Oh no, I think I'm okay. You okay? <laughs> Perhaps one more thing that is worth mentioning about the R8. We get asked a lot about the safety of the magazine. Obviously the loss of the magazine would be catastrophic. Two safety features here to prevent that from happening. You cannot accidentally release the magazine. If you brush against it, against any tree or anything in outside when you're in the woods, if you press one of these release buttons, the magazine will not release. So you cannot lose it by accident that way. The other thing is you have to positively really press down hard on both trigger release magazines buttons simultaneously. The magazine will not release unless you press both of these at the same time. And if you're really worried about it, if you're when losing your magazine really isn't an option, when you're in a remote area of the world, if you're that worried about it, inside the magazine well is a button. You activate that by pushing it backward until you hear a positive click. That means the magazine release buttons are now properly locked and the magazine cannot come out. You can top load the rifle until you want to take it out again, push the button forward and the magazine release buttons will be freed out again. Hey, you know what? You forgot to mention one thing. What did I forget? When the rifle is decocked, the bolt handle locks. You're absolutely right, Josh. When the cocking lever is in the down, the safe position, the bolt handle cannot be operated. It completely locks down, so you cannot lose your ammunition when you're going through the undergrowth. It is only when you cock the rifle that the bolt becomes free, you can reload. Same for firing. So basically you fire your rifle, you reload, if you then want to decock it, again, the bolt handle is completely blocked. However, if you do want to then reload your rifle or unload your rifle, you do not have to put it into the hot, into the danger position with a live round in the chamber. Simply give the cocking lever a little tap upwards and you will feel some movement, hold it in that position, pull it back, unload your rifle without ever having to put the rifle into the hot position. Rather than thinking of the R8 as a simple rifle, I personally prefer to think of it as a system. Very few rifles give you the opportunity to use a triple two as well as a 500 Jeffrey using the same action just by changing the barrels. So you can literally shoot anything in any caliber anywhere. The obvious thing that you can do to go through that change is by removing the barrels and move yourself through the calibers. So just by using the barrel wrench, you can remove the barrel. That is simply done by loosening the barrel bolts from underneath the stock, unscrew those in sequence, and the barrel will lift free. Take a new barrel in a different caliber, Place it on the bedding block and tighten the two bolts back up again. Good hand tight, you don't need to over tighten it. What we always say is to all our customers, good hand tight will do it. You don't need excessive force, there will come a point when the screw doesn't want to go any further and that'll be sufficient tension to put the barrel on its bedding. So that was the barrel change. 
If you're changing caliber groups completely, say if you're going from this extreme, treble two, 500 Jeffrey, you obviously will need a different bolt face. And that is equally simple. Take your bolt, and on the other side there you will find a latch. Just simply move the latch to your side, lift up, and that will unlock the bolt. The bayonet lock, turn it out of there, and pull the bolt head free. Take a different caliber bolt head, insert into the bolt housing, turn, and do the latch back up. And your bolt is now ready to go back into your rifle, adapted for the different caliber grip. Sometimes what we also have to consider is that you might have, when you're changing to a different caliber, the magazine insert also needs to be changed. So you don't need to change the whole magazine, you simply change the magazine insert that comes supplied with each barrel that you buy for an R8, lift that out, put another one in, they're caliber specific, each caliber is written on the outside of the magazine, put that back in, it cannot drop out, it will make an audible click, just put that in and again it's ready to go into your rifle for the new caliber. You know, another great thing about the R8 is its compatibility for the left-hand shooters. We haven't forgotten about any of you left-hand shooters out there. Watch how easy it is to switch from a right-hand bolt assembly to a left-hand bolt assembly. We remove the right-handed bolt assembly, thank you sir, and slide in the left-handed bolt assembly. We've got the setup for a left-handed shooter. But you know what, it doesn't stop there. We offer nearly every R8 stock and a true left-handed version. Well, sometimes it's just that simple. We've talked about what makes a rifle really precise. And one important thing also is scope mounting. And here the Blazer R8 has got the clear edge over everything else that's out there. Not only does the scope mount mount directly onto the barrel so there's no action between the scope and the mounts and the barrel so there's a direct connection between the scope and the and the barrel it also comes prepared for the blazer saddle mount which in my eyes is the best mounting system that's currently out there you can mount anything onto the barrel with a quick release mount starting with an aim point here that we have here a small red dot side going up to high magnification long range scopes the clear advantage that the saddle mount has is that however much you put it, take it off the rifle or you put it back on, it will never lose zero. We will guarantee that this scope mount returns to zero, not the matter how often you take off the barrel and put it back on, or you just choose just to take the scope off and store it separately from your rifle. Once that scope comes back on, if that barrel is zeroed for that scope, it will go back to zero. When changing optics from barrel to barrel, small adjustments might be necessary. The Blazer saddle mount allows you to do this easily in no time at all. Moderators are becoming more and more popular across the world. And this is where the R8 compaction really comes into play. It is perfect for this sort of thing because it's got an extremely short action, which allow you to save on the overall length. I just mounted a Blazer moderator onto this particular R8 but in spite of adding substantial weight and length to the very end of the rifle, this R8 remains extremely short and pointable. And speaking of compact, this is what really does it for me. I have everything I need for hunting abroad in this small case here. The R8 is packed with so many innovative features that it's almost impossible to talk about all of them in such a short period of time. I agree, but I think what we have established is that the R8 has no competition, nothing comes close. The Blazer R8 is truly one of a kind.